and the graphic content in the video released tonight raising concerns about how it might impact your mental health. At a news conference today, a couple of them both in Sacramento and Memphis speakers urged not everyone should be watching it. So with that, we turn to CBS 13's Brady Halbleib live in studio with more on that, Brady. Yeah, even Tyree's mother, um, uh, who hadn't even seen the video, told people today not to watch the video based on what she had heard about it. It's a violent video, and people within Tyree's family and the NAACP are urging caution to sensitive viewers. They even brought in a therapist to offer some advice on how to cope. I've never seen the video, but what I've heard is very horrific, very horrific. Tyree's mother, Ravon Wells, explains the newly released police video showing the violence that led up to her son's death. And any of you who have children, please don't let them see it. During Friday's press conference in Sacramento, NAACP President Betty Williams introduced a therapist to help parents and young people process the violence seen in the video. One thing I would say is, if you can, shut the TV down, because this is going to be broadcasted over and over again. Once circulated on social media, children may see it. She says if they do, let them talk about it and express their feelings. Give them a chance to express what they're feeling, validate what they're feeling, and, and help them to just process what they are feeling. She says people may tend to ruminate on the video, which may disrupt sleep and make people more irritable. If those symptoms continue, you may want to seek professional help. If you get any of those things, two things I would say. One is start writing journal. Journal what you're feeling and really seek professional help because when you sit and talk to us, we help you process that through. And it is also advised to block certain content on social media. If some of those images continue to ruminate in your brain, experts say to make a physical action like playing music, watching your favorite TV show, or simply leaving where you are and even going for a walk, guys. Yeah. It was physically draining and emotionally draining going through that video piece by piece because obviously it's just so horrific. All good advice to try and escape what we saw. Yep, know your limitations for sure.